Respiration is the one process that all living cells share. Let's start by being clear that it's not the same as breathing. That's ventilation. Respiration is the release of energy stored in sugar by breaking it down chemically. This release of energy makes the reaction exothermic. The energy is needed by the cell to carry out all the other processes that keep the cell alive, from making proteins to movement to keeping the body at a constant temperature. It's a chemical process, so let's start by looking at the chemical formula for aerobic respiration. Aerobic means using oxygen. So aerobic respiration means breaking down sugar using oxygen to release energy. The products of the reaction are carbon dioxide and water. Remember, respiration is something that every single cell needs to do to stay alive. So every single cell needs a constant supply of glucose and oxygen and needs to dispose of the carbon dioxide it's producing. In humans, the glucose comes from digestion. Enzymes, such as amylase, break carbohydrates down into glucose and these are absorbed and transported by the blood around the body. The glucose is carried dissolved in the blood plasma. Oxygen is absorbed by the red blood cells in the lungs and transported around the body as well. Carbon dioxide from the respiring cells dissolves into the blood plasma and is carried back to the lungs where it's breathed out. The process of aerobic respiration takes place in the mitochondria of cells. The more energy a cell requires, the more respiration it needs to do. This means it needs more glucose and more oxygen and produces more carbon dioxide which needs to be carried away. For example, muscle cells require more energy during exercise and they get this energy from respiration. In order to supply more glucose and oxygen to the active muscles, the heart rate and stroke volume both increase so that more blood arrives to the muscle. Breathing rate also increases so that more oxygen is absorbed by the blood. If a cell requires so much energy so quickly that oxygen cannot be supplied to the cell fast enough to meet the demand, it's able to respire in a different way which does not use oxygen. This is called anaerobic respiration, meaning without oxygen. In this, glucose is converted to lactic acid. It's still exothermic, but releases less energy for each molecule of glucose than aerobic respiration does. However, as it's not relying on the delivery of oxygen to the cell, a larger amount of glucose can be broken down at once, so that overall it releases more energy. The problem is that the lactic acid being produced is poisonous to cells and causes muscles to be painful, cramp and stop working. So anaerobic respiration is only effective for short periods of time, such as when sprinting. After this time, the cells need to get rid of the lactic acid that has built up. This is done by reacting the lactic acid with oxygen. This is why after exercise, breathing and heart rate remain high so that extra oxygen can be delivered to the muscles. This is called an excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, or oxygen debt. So, respiration is a process that takes place inside the mitochondria of all cells. Respiration can be either aerobic, using oxygen, or anaerobic, without oxygen. When respiring aerobically, the circulatory system is responsible for transporting the reactants and products to and from the cells.